Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Lego DC Super Villains. I'm your villain Lord Fenton. In today's video, we are doing the red bricks. Yes, we're going to find all the red bricks in all the levels and then I'll show everybody where to buy them. So let's get to the first level, shall we? In the level, new kid on the block, you need to be at the last uh, portion of the uh, mission. That is correct. You need to be there. So, first, I would advise getting a flyer to fly up there. And second, that flyer must have heat vision because uh, the red brick is guarded by a gold Lego brick. Yes. So, melt that gold brick with your heat vision. After that, the red brick should drop. Grab it, and that is brick number one. So, let's get to brick number two, shall we? In the story mission, it's good to be bad when you're at the Iceberg Lounge, you need to be having a flyer to fly up here, number one. This is very important. Uh, and number two, you need to switch to a speedster because part of the uh, red brick is behind this glass. So use your speedster, anyone will do, to break the glass. After that, you need someone with telepathy. That is right. A good example for that is uh, Gorilla Grodd. So Gorilla Grodd's going to move a certain object first out of the way, which is junk. Yep, yeah, kiss that goodbye, see? And then you do it again, he'll form the red brick. When that is formed, go and collect it, that should be red brick number two. So let's get to the third one, shall we? In the uh, mission Stars in Your Eyes, first of all, you need a strong person. Any Kryptonian will do, obviously. Use that, the door should be uh, lifted, you throw it. Then you need someone to uh, go into the dark and turn on the switch. Now, Kryptonia cannot do that, so we're going to switch to someone who has the ability who has light. For instance, the DLC character John Constantine. You can use Mercy Graves since she, you get her from the first mission. Still, turn on the lights and then turn on the switch. Now, these uh, panels will appear and you have to be real quick. Hence the two controller method. If you don't want to do that or you don't have a second controller, use a speedster to get you uh, through all five points. Remember these points right here. I had a little trouble though, and I had a bug happen to me when I did it, so I'm gonna skip ahead to the solution. All right, now we're on the solution. I swapped to Mercy Graves since I failed that. Now I use a speedster to uh, speed through this, um, hit the switch just yet. You got him real quick. One or two taps should do. Yeah, sometimes they're a little bit too fast, but they're very good. Use their dash ability, air dash ability to get you through that that's number five right there and right there where the uh, dark room is is the uh, gold brick so you rush to there and then you uh, grab it that is number three so let's get to number four shall we now in the stage the Harvey and the Ivy in the last portion of the stage is a uh, red brick number four this is very important. I mean, you got to be at this point in the stage. So you have to play the level like normal until this point you got past the cops. First thing you want to do is to switch to a flying character. That's right. Any will do. So we'll choose our uh, Kryptonian flyer and have this Kryptonian go up there while ignoring the uh, foes. Now, after you get up here, you need to switch to someone who has the ability to use explosives. For instance, the Joker. Grab one of his uh, explosive pies and destroy that uh, silver uh, Lego piece. Yep. Now there'll be a cut scene and it'll uh, go down. And afterwards you need to use the Green Lantern. So get down there and switch to someone like the Green Lantern. Yellow Lanterns could work too and also the Red Lantern of Trosis could work too. Just use a lantern to make a lantern symbol. And there we go. Stand on the lantern symbol and hold circle. It might be different on the other systems. It will create a fountain that will spit out the red brick. So with that, get up there in the water. My best bet is just to fly up there and make things easier. And there's red brick number four. Let's get to number five. Now for red brick number five, Arkham barely believe it. It comes into many parts. You need to be at this stage with the monster man chasing you. Yes, one in Dr. Hugo Strange's experiments. You see that gold brick? You need heat vision. So get up there and shoot it. Afterwards, uh, wait for the steam to go and then get right there. Switch to a Lego character that could get inside of grates and such. Any will do. So now we're at this point. This is going to be some a uh, little bit of work to get this uh, red brick. Now, the first thing you want to do is most likely use a flying character to survey the area. 
So this way you uh, know what to do. Yeah, I'm using my Kryptonian. So anyways, use a flying character to the left are uh, Joker points you need and Joker minions. However, you can't find them because way to the right, you need to free them. Yes, they're all in a cage, so this is going to take a little work to uh, get Red Brick number 5 and Arkham barely believe it. So what you need to do is uh, there's a door right there. Yep, hit the circle button, tap it, and they'll break open, smash it. And there's a nice red button to push. Push the button. Now, there will be a cutscene that will tell you what to do next. Looks like you have to assemble something from the top. That is right. So, we're going to do a little bit more of flying up there, since we have our flyer. Now, get up there, it looks like you're going to have to make a hack panel. So, you're going to make a hack panel and use someone who could get you uh, through that. My advice is live wire since she's immune, but anyone could do. Yeah, you go in there and hack the panel, watch and all you need to do is uh, flip the switch. Now a great thing about live wire is she could take uh, electricity damage since she's electricity herself so that's the great news. She'll always want to use her for uh, these type of puzzles and such in uh, free play mode. Still get to the switch any way you can and sometimes a little bit uh, wonky at times but still this is a great way to get the uh, brick seat. Now you hit the switch, what happens next is I believe the Joker minions will now get lowered and free. Yep, yeah, it should take a little time. And there we go, now they're going down. Now the next part is, is uh, recruit those Joker minions. Yes, use the Joker for that since he has a grappling hook too. Hit circle, differ on the other systems, you crew them all, you need all four. Now bring your minions over and uh, tap circle and then you should use the uh, grappling hook. All five of you should pull it. Now when you uh, pull it, something else is behind you. There is the red brick right there for Arkham. Barely believe it. That is red brick number five. So let's get to red brick number six, shall we? Next up is uh, congratulations uh, red brick number six. First you need Batman as seen before you. This opens up a beam of light. You need to reflect that beam of light up there on top of the uh, temple you see before you. Above the uh, rolling boulders. Yes, you need to do that. Now you need is uh, Poison Ivy. That is correct. She'll use our uh, plant growing abilities you'll see in a few moments to get a light reflector. Yes, you need to reflect that light up there. That's the only way to do it. So we're going to grow the plant right now and do a little bit of it. Then I'll skip ahead towards the uh, second one. So you want to grow right there, use the arrows. It might take a little bit of time to get things right. So I'm going to skip ahead to the second one. Now we're on the uh, second one. So use Poison Ivy's uh, plant growing ability. And there's the second one. Now here's the tricky part you need to do is reflect up both lights and such. So what I'm going to do is uh, speed up the footage until we uh, get it right. And here we uh, go. So we almost got it. You just need to do a little bit of push and nudge. You might have to go on the bottom and readjust the light. Uh, go real slow since it sometimes goes too fast. And if that doesn't work, then uh, get to the bottom again and adjust the light for a better uh, angle and such. Yeah, this one can be uh, not fun sometimes. Still, it's also a good idea to look where you're uh, going to. Yeah, we need to reflect that much better. It looks like it's the uh, bottom that will... Uh, do it. Yeah, so just try to reflect it to a point where uh, you'll move the top a little bit. Right now I'm just doing some recon, yes. This uh, light puzzle can uh, not be fun at times, so keep that in mind. Yeah, st you can use any character at this point to push the thing. I decided to use Poison Ivy as a note. So what we're going to do is try to uh, get this right. Yeah. I think I'm gonna push this over here, then uh, reflect the one on the bottom, and then that'll do it. Yeah, you just gotta play with it until you get the light rightfully uh, tracked. 
rightfully so. Okay. There we go. I think I got it better now, folks. Sorry about that. Just remember those positions. I'll uh, put a timestamp in the video. And there we go. The light is now there. The next course is we're going to need a flyer so we can skip through the uh, nonsense. So I'll switch to any one of your favorite flyers, Kryptonian or not. And we'll uh, collect the uh, red brick for round number six, which is congratulations. So we go over there, grab it. There we go. Number six is in the books. We'll skip ahead towards number seven. Now the seventh red brick is on Oa No. That's right. That's the seventh level in the game. And it's very close by. I do mean really close by. And you need to do is use um, anybody's uh, x-ray vision. You can use Batman too. Anyone will do. So when that pops up, um, something will be there for you. See? Look like there is a grappling point. We're going to need the Joker for that. So we're going to just switch to the uh, Joker. Or I should say, better yet, uh, Batman. He should be the best candidate. So use Batman to hit the uh, circle button to run the other systems. And watch your step, please. So you go over there, hit the tap the uh, circle button to the other system, and pull out the uh, grappling hook. Now, what that would do is, is um, bring something for us. What we need is a uh, platform, I believe. That platform ahead will um, get us the uh, brick. Yeah, see, this is really easy. It's close by, and it's a silver brick. So what we're going to need to do is uh, use the Joker to uh, bust it open. So we'll uh, switch to the uh, Joker. Or anybody else with explosive, if you do not like the Joker. Still, time your uh, pie bombs. Yeah, this game can be a little bit uh, wonky at times with that. So stand back a little bit and uh, toss one of the pie bombs. It should be any second now. Yeah, I was trying to toss it. Yeah, okay. In case you don't want to do the Joker, use someone with rockets like Lex Luthor. He's another good one, too. And there's a green puddle, so you need the Joker to access the brick like we see before you. So that is number seven in the books. Let's skip eight, head to uh, number eight. Now we're at the fight at the museum, which is uh, the second room. Yes. You're going to need is a speedster like Reverse Flash or anybody else like that. Now there's a mirror, however, we're going to need a mirror master. So bust out mirror master and uh, shoot the uh, glass. Alright, there's one portal way. Let's see if we get in. Nope, we're going to need another portal way. So go over here. It should be somewhere. You see the red brick right there? We're going to need to find a portal somewhere. So what we're going to do is, is uh, try to get over there. And we can't get over there this way. So it'll be right there. So hit the switch. And now that'll move... Uh, towards the uh, red brick and the glass did break so you need to go back on that so you need to do is uh, do that so we're gonna try to get through yeah you can't get through until you get the yellow one hit this is why mirror master strangely enough is one of those useful characters in the game because it's a uh, mirror, mirror portals yes some of us been a fan of him still hit the switch back since we broke the glass now and all we need to do now is um Use Mirror Master's uh, gun to, uh, yeah, there's a the portal. Hit that again. Now, after that's done, we should have access to the uh, red brick. That's right. That'll be red brick number eight. Now, what we're going to do is uh, jump through the portal. That is right. That'll be it for red brick number eight. So, our next one is uh, red brick number nine. Now, we're at uh, red brick number nine. It's the level Sea King Trouble. You're at the last point of this stage. Ignore fighting him and go right. This one's very easy. I do mean real easy at this point. So you switch to, I believe, zoom since it'll break the glass. Yes, you can use any speedster. I prefer using the DLC character since it's much more quicker access, in my opinion. All right, you need to time the glass right, so you go right there. It's a little bit of a timing. And it breaks. Now there are notes. So you need to play the right note in order to get the bricks. So for instance, this one's blue, blue, and blue. So, and yellow. Sorry about that. 
So it's three blues and a yellow. It might be different for everybody, so keep that in mind. And if you do hit it wrong, like I did before you, you need to redo the sequence. So all you need to do is punch the uh, flower, and that's it. So we're going to do that. So we're going to follow this pattern to the Zach T. So we're going to switch to uh, someone who could do it. We'll use uh, back Black Mantra. And there we go. That's one. That is two. So far correct. That's three. Now we're going to hit the white one. It might be different for everybody, so watch your pattern. And there we go. Look like he is coughing up a red uh, brick. And there's the uh, red brick for uh, Sea King Trouble, which is number nine. So let's get to ten. Now we're in uh, red brick number 10, which is on the level uh, gridlock. This is the uh, exit towards the uh, first half of the stage. You need to be in this area right here with the receptionist. So first hand, you need someone with uh, grappling. Batman or Joker will do and grapple uh, that. See, pull that open and I'll uh, activate the uh, receptionist after you uh, get the electricity panel. Any electric character would do Black Adam, Black Lightning, Live wire, even that weird dude, Mr. Sum, I can't pronounce his name. Anybody with electricity, see? You need that, that's for part one. You'll activate the robot, and you need to activate him. So now the x-ray panel and the uh, telekinesis panel, which is where we need to get to, is now open. I'm going to skip ahead to that. Now, after doing a little bit of the story part, there's uh, detective numbers you need. So you hit the circle button, which is four, six... Um, whatever the number is so this one's a little tricky folks so you need to uh, time your uh, telekinesis right so you need four six three it might be different for everybody else so you need to put those numbers in slowly and such because sometimes the telekinesis could mess you up and it's a one-way direction so be careful so you put in four six three or your number on the screen you see there now number will disappear and red brick will be yours and we're already halfway through so let's get to red brick number 11 now we're on red brick 11 apocalypse wow now after you uh, get out of the uh, rookie power room yes where the rookie gets his power there's a corridor you go through this corridor and the first thing we are going to do is switch to a telekinesis character you can use Grodd or John Constantine or anybody else Look like it selected John Constantine for me. So you need to get that open. Once you do get that open, there's a power demon. That is right. So now we got access to a Lego character we can mind control. Yes, that's our attendant victim. We're going to need that Lego character to push the red button. So use any telekinesis character or mind controlling character. And have that... Uh, Victim, push the button. Once the button has been pushed, the red brick is yours, which is number 11. Pretty easy after you got out of the uh, rookie power room. There we go. We're all set and done. Let's get to number 12. Now we're on red brick number 12, which is the one with the T-Rex mech. This one's very easy. Fly all the way to the left. Yes, use a flyer. After that, there will be uh, glowing bells. Yes, you have to shoot the glowing bells. I'll show everybody a demonstration of that. It might be different for everybody, so be careful. So fly up there and uh, carefully use your uh, heat vision and such, or whatever lasers you have, and uh, just shoot the glowing bells. Every time they glow, shoot one, move your uh, aiming down or away, or stop shooting. Just make sure you get them one at a time. If you need to move, you move. It took me a bit to get a nice uh, groove pattern going, as you see before you. So this way I do this faster. It might be faster for everybody else. Yep, keep on hitting those glowing bells, and what happens is your red brick should drop down instantly. Now, I already got the brick a while ago, so that's red brick uh, number 12. We'll get to 13. This will be no problem. No. Now we're on the level, they think it's out over. We're at the uh, point where, where uh, Batman is fighting Owl Man. So when you get to Solomon Grundy, you're close by the um, red brick. So first of all, bust anybody with graffiti character. I prefer to use Harley Quinn. She's the best for that. So use your graffiti character 
and draw a line or a pattern or anything like that. It looks like this one's a wave or something or a road. You do that and then Holly would smash that up. Now the next part is we are going to build a cosmic treadmill. This is where a speedster will come in. Have that uh, speedster uh, appear and he will do flash, reverse flash, professor zoom, anybody. Now get on the cosmic treadmill and run. Now you're going to be playing the uh, Speed Force mini game. You need to get 10 objects. Yes. This is part of the red brick. So collect, collect, collect. You just got to keep on collecting and such. And then eventually you'll uh, build something towards that red brick. So that's what we're going to do right now. And I already got a multiplier, true villain. Still, that's a good idea to uh, do that too while you're getting red bricks. All right, just get when you get the 10, you will get out of the speed force and build something. And let's see what we're gonna build. And there we go. We are gonna build an object, look like it's a tank. So now we're gonna use a speedster to bust that tank open. And there we go. And there's our red brick number 13. So we're gonna get the 14 now. Now we're on red brick number 14, Steppenwolf Surprise. After you get off the uh, elevator and out of the basement, go into this room right here. Use Batman's grappling hook. It should get you in the room. Now after that, will be a small uh, cutscene of uh, parademons, yes. Those are uh, foes from the Justice League uh, movie. So we're going to go past the flower and uh, fly. Now once we land over here to the right, there's a mirror. You need to get over here. So you're going to need to use a mirror master. So we're going to switch to mirror master right now. And uh, he's going to shoot two portals. You just got to be careful how you shoot them. There's one. There's the other. Go through it. Go to your right some more. Now there's a object. I think you can use any Lego to destroy it. Yep. Yeah. And there is your uh, red brick. That's it for uh, number 14. Our next one is number 15. Now we're on red brick number 15, dark side of the moon. Now you need to do is, is uh, activate the uh, hacking panels both left and right and the right do not continue with the story. You continue with the story what happens is you'll miss out on this red brick. So now we skipped ahead towards this room so you need to open this room right here which is very important. Just do like you did in the story, destroy everything and then switch to a lantern. It could be green, yellow, or a red lantern character. So now we're going to activate a magnet to get us through. As I said before, there's the uh, right side where you use a character with explosives to destroy. You do not want to do that. You actually want someone with hacking, yes. Up ahead will be a hacking panel, so I am going to switch to a character that could hack. We'll use the Atom. You can use uh, Live Wire or anybody else, or the Rookie and destroy this area right here, this barrel. Now get in the hacking panel. This is part one of the red brick. It might take some time. So what we're gonna do is get in there right now and hack away. So just do the hacking puzzle like you normally do. I said before my advice is use live wire. Yes, use live wire if you're afraid to lose hit points and such. So just go down there. This one's easier so drop down, go to your left. Yeah, I was a little bit greedy with the studs. And collect some studs on the way too. So you hit this switch. So the left uh, electric uh, thingamabob, wherever it is, will uh, light up. You need both light up in order to sit on the throne. Yes, you'll be, that'll be uh, part of the red brick. So let's skip ahead to number two. So now we're on this side. We skipped ahead to it like I said before. Play the story like normal. However, do not it blow up the uh, silver bricks. You're going to need to go into the hacking again. So, like before, you use a lantern character, green, yellow, or the red one, and he will do. Get on the uh, lantern symbol and open that door up. Yes. We're going to open it up, and once we do open it, what we're going to do is um, get in the hacking panel. Yes. This one will. Uh, Open up the uh, right thing with Bob and get us to sit on the throne. 
So what we're going to do is switch to someone who can hack again. He's your favorite hacker, of course. Livewire, Adam, both variants and such, even a rookie too. So get through this uh, maze and get to the switch. And I did notice one thing is the studs are a little bit buggy and stuff, so be careful on that. So all you need to do is get to the uh, bottom, or I should say get to a certain point. There we go, we're almost there. And as soon as we uh, hit the switch or get the right way, what happens is it'll, uh, the right thing will uh, open us up to the uh, throne room, so you'll see it before you. And right now, yep, there is right there. That shield is gone, and now we get to sit on the throne. Now here's the thing about the uh, throne real quick. Bring a Kryptonian. So select your favorite Kryptonian. Supergirl, Rain, Superman, or Azad. Yes, he's in Metropolis by the way. That's a future video. Select any Kryptonian and get that person to sit on the throne. Also anybody in Varmble 2 can sit on the throne too. Now be careful because Darkseid can knock you off. So all you need to do is uh, get on that throne and be sneaky about it. It's not there, it's actually up there, so yes. You need to fly up there, go right there, and sit on the throne. You're going to be taking some damage, however you're invulnerable. And when that is said and done, a red brick will appear. And just uh, do that after, of course, the uh, QET which is square or anything but anything else on the other systems and look at that a red brick I said before you that is it for number 15 now let's go to 16 the level stories so now we're on red brick number 16 uh, in the level granny knows best these level stories are short so first of all you bust out someone with graffiti for instance Joker or Harley Quinn we we'll use the Joker this time tap the circle button might be uh, different for the other system so there we go bust that open there will be a secret room up ahead so now we're going to enter this room right here up ahead so what we're going to do is search around for the uh, red brick it should be here somewhere smash everything you can I believe something else will come up well it looks like that's a bat symbol so there we go we smash everything up and you need to do is uh, build this object for Batman to throw his bat ring so now toss your uh, bat ring and let's see what happens next once that happens and then a red brick should appear before you after a whole bunch of uh, studs yes collect the studs there's your red brick and that should be it for uh, number 16 once this drops into our hands and jump up there yep we got it and collect the studs while you're at it so let's get to number 17 now that we are on red brick number 17 man to mantis level so this one's easy fly up there where we start the level then you switch to batman this one's real quick so I'll toss your bat ring and what happens is the red brick will instantly appear that is it for number 17 so now let's get ahead to number 18 now we're on red brick number 18 in the level these boots are made for stompa so first thing you need to do is switch to Aquaman. Yes, there's a plant. You can also use poison ivy and such. And you need that plant to grow. So what happens is, is uh, when that plant grows, a red brick will appear. See? Very easy. So let's get to number 19, shall we? Now we're on red brick number 19, Arma Ghetto Superstar. And it's very close to the beginning of the level. It's on the bottom towards the left. Now, all you need to do is to uh, make sure you uh, have a graffiti character. After, of course, smash things up. I'll probably say the Joker or anybody else will uh, do, so we'll uh, switch to him right now. And I'll skip ahead a little bit in the video so I can show everybody where the red brick is at exactly. So, we got the Joker. Let's uh, skip right about now. So, with the picture perfect and the red brick, area here is use the graffiti right here for now and just make a box or any shape you'll bust that open and right there is red brick number 19 so let's get the last one red brick number 20 
Now we're on red brick number 20. You can't touch this. That is right. We're uh, for this brick right here. Now this one's simple. Switch to someone who uh, shrinks. So go through the uh, grate. You'll land up here where uh, Kanto has his pictures. Now you need to switch to someone who could hack and such. And we're going to do is look for a uh, perfect candidate. And I am going to say is the rookie. Okay. Switch someone like the rookie, live wire, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Get through the uh, electric uh, panel maze just like before. Yes, you can get used to that with uh, collectibles and story mode and such too. Not just uh, red bricks. So get through the uh, maze. And once you uh, do uh, get through the uh, maze, there's a switch ahead. Hit that switch. That is right. You hit that switch right there. So get out of the uh, maze like you see before you. And what happened was a light comes up. And you see some studs dropping. Great for true villain. And a red brick dropping. That is it for all the uh, bricks. Our next portion of the video will be showing you how to uh, spend your studs from. So now we're back to the beginning of the video where we were at. Star Laboratories. That is right. Star Laboratories is where you want to go. So I'm just keeping it there for people to see that. So you go over here. Keep on going. And there will be an entrance on the right right here as you see before you. Now I'm going to quickly uh, show you on the map. It is right there in Metropolis. Right there exactly on the street level. So make sure you're on the street level and go to where I'm going. And we're going to enter this uh, building right here. That is right. This is where we uh, need to go. Now this does count for 100% the trophy slash achievement. And what we are going to do is going to purchase all of our stuff or much of our stuff as we can. So you go over here in this room right here and uh, tap circle. Anybody can access it. And right there should be all your red bricks to buy. So save up those studs big time. Well folks that is it for uh, today's video. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching everybody.